Techie Tweens November Code Word Keychain. Hi, tweens. This month we're making a keychain with beaded code words. You can do anything you want with um, these beads. You're going to get three colors, a clasp, a ring, and a length of cording. The ring will hold your keys if you want, or you can just use it as a decoration for a larger keychain. So also you will get a um, key for making binary code words. Figure out your word first. I decided that I just wanted to do my initials. So I picked out which beads were gonna represent the black and the white boxes on the key and which beads were gonna be the space. So I've got my letters M and G here for my name. And I picked out the beads that would represent M and G. And I used the clear for the space in between the two chunks of the binary code. Once you have your word set, you're going to put your ring through the loop on the clasp. This may be a little bit difficult. You might need a grown-up to help you with that because it's a little tight. It took me a couple of tries, but you'll get it eventually. There you go. It just hooks through and slide it around. All right, once that's on there, you can take your cording Depending on what your word you're writing, coding, you can either use one long piece by just tying a knot on the end of your ring, like so. Like for example, if you're doing your name, then you would have it and then put the beads on the cord. Or if like me, you're doing just two initials, you can knot it separately in a different way so that you have two strings coming off the ring. You make a loop in the middle, pull it through the ring like that, and then you're going to take your two ends of the cord and pull it through the loop you made and pull it tight onto the ring. This will keep it nice and secure, and you'll have two uh, cords that you're able to put coated beads on. So if you want to put, say, dog on one, cat on the other, or first name and last name, you might not have enough beads for both. But So I'm putting my M beads on one end on one of my strings. like so, making sure I'm keeping them in the right order. And then I'm going to pull them all the way up to the end where it meets the ring. And I'm going to tie a couple of knots. The holes for these beads are fairly large, so you need to at least double, maybe triple knot them. If you really want to keep them secure, you might want to put a dab of glue on the knot when you're all done. But that's optional. It depends on how well you tie your knots. But you want to make sure that they're nice and tight and big enough to, so that the beads don't slide over them and get lost. go like that so there's my letter M now I'm gonna do the letter G and just repeating on the same same thing with the other end of the cord like so
So what you decide to make is entirely up to you, but lay out your beads first to make sure you have enough so you don't get frustrated. Knotting them again so that the beads don't fall off. Just like that. Nice and tight. And then once I'm happy with it, and it's all set, I can trim the excess cording off with a pair of scissors if I would like, if I want. Or you can leave it long, it's up to you. But I'm gonna trim it below the, the knots, and later I'll go and put some glue in in there. And there I've got my initials on a neat keychain. Or you can hang it from a backpack, whatever you want.